Hi guys, welcome to the Mega iPhone Reviews event recap of the iPad 2 announcement which was today, March 2nd, 2011. So probably the biggest news of the night was that Steve Jobs was there. He had taken a leave of absence in January. Um, he wasn't some kind of health issues, but it's nice to see that he's back and he's healthy. Right, so before the event, Apple always liked to go through their numbers from the past couple of years. Um, I'll just show you the, the more interesting um, numbers. They've sold 100 million iPhones, they've sold 15 million iPads, and there are 65,000 apps, especially for the iPad. So, not apps in the App Store, but apps for the iPad. Right, so Apple got straight into the event by announcing the iPad 2. Um, it's got a new design, so it'll be more like the iPod Touch. It won't be less, um, it won't have this like hill in the middle. Um, it has an A5 dual core chip in it, which is one gigahertz, so um, it'll be twice the speed and it'll have nine times the graphics performance, which is amazing. Um, it'll have a front facing camera, which will be VGA quality. It'll have a back facing camera, which will be 720p or 5 megapixels. Um, it'll be 33% thinner, so it'll be 8.8 millimeters. Um, so you can imagine this iPad 2 being really thin. Um, it's, um, it's much lighter than, the, than this iPad. Um, it will be available in white and in black. So um, if you get the white one, it will have white around here on the side. But it will have the same chrome back. If you get the black one, it will look just like this, basically. Um, it is available for AT&T and Verizon in America. So um, if you want Verizon or you want AT&T, you have the choice. Um, and you don't have to have the MiFi thing with you. Um, battery life will stay the same. About 10 hours on uh, 10 hours video playback. All this kind of... It's, it's really good battery life. I'm really happy with the battery life on my iPad. Um, the prices will stay the same. You'll still get 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and 64 gigabytes, and you can always get them with Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and 3G. So in the USA, it will be released on March 11th, which is in nine days, and in a bunch of other countries, including where I am in Switzerland, it will be released on March 25th. Apple made a bunch of accessories for the iPad 2, and um, one of them is an HDMI out cable, which lets you watch 1080p playback with all the apps, um, support rotation. Um, it costs $40 and all of that to watch your stuff on your HDTV. Um, they've made a smart cover, which is, I can't really explain, but it somehow attaches to the side of your iPad. And then it will magnetically um, stick on and you can use it all kinds of ways. I'll show you some pictures, but um, it's, it's, it's kind of, it looks kind of cool. The uh, iPad 2 will be shipping with iOS 4.3 and of course it will have FaceTime. Then Apple announced iOS 4.3, which will have iTunes home sharing, it will have AirPlay improvements, it will have a new JavaScript engine, which will make Safari much faster. Um, it will, and all the content from your computer or your network will be available over Wi-Fi. Um, personal hotspot for iPhone 4, so you'll be able to make your own Wi-Fi network over 3G, which is really cool if you want to connect your, your laptop um, to your iP um, iPhone um, wirelessly. Um, you'll have photo booth, which is um, just like on a Mac. You'll be able to take pictures with your webcam. Um, and it will be released on March 11th. For the iPad, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3, and iPod Touch 4. Apple then went on to announce iMovie for the iPad. Um, it looks like the iPhone version, but more precise. It looks really good on the large screen, and you'll be able to share to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, and CNN. Um, and that will be $5, and it will be released on March 11th. They also announced GarageBand for the iPad. If you don't know GarageBand, that's also for the Mac. Um, it's more for making music and um, editing audio. I mean, you'll be able to play instruments on your iPad, like the, the guitar and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into detail, but um, it looks really easy to play. It makes it really easy to play instruments. Um, it's really cheap and easy to way to produce music, and that'll be five dollars as well. Announced, uh, released on March the 11th. So I hope you like this Mega iPhone Reviews event recap. Um, please leave us a comment of what you think the iPad 2 will be like, or if you're going to get one. Um, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.